Hi, I'm Kronos, and today we're going to walk through sending money on the BitShares platform. This is one of the most simple and intuitive things you can do in BitShares, and it's a good thing because sending money is very core to what money is. Imagine how simple it is to take your wallet out of your pocket, open it up, take cash out, and hand it to somebody. That's a very intuitive process. I don't like to do it because I don't like to spend money, but it's very easy to understand that physical action of doing that. BitShares tries to make it that simple in the user interface. So in this video, we'll quickly step through how to do that using the BitShares web wallet. Let's get started. Here we are at the BitShares web wallet now at bitshares.org slash wallet. And you can see in the top navigation here, the send link. This is what you need to click to send money. From here, you can see the from box already filled out with the account that you're logged in with. And in two, you simply type the account that you want to send the money to. So I'm going to send money to Johnny Bitcoin. He's a friend of mine, a member of the BitShares community. And you can actually see his account number and his icon. So this is always consistent. His icon is going to match his account every time. So you can use that to verify that you're sending to the right place. The amount here, you just type that in, very intuitive once again. You can choose the token type. So here I'm sending BTS. I could send him some BitUSD. I have that in my wallet as well. Or any other kind of token that you have in your BitShares wallet, just choose it in the drop down to choose the token you want to send. I really value my BitUSD though, so I'm just going to send him 100 BTS, feeling generous right now. The memo is very cool on the BitShares platform because it's encrypted by something called the memo key that only the recipient has. So even though the transaction is publicly recorded on the blockchain, because it's encrypted, only the recipient can read the memo. So you can put in here something that's specific for the receiver. Thanks for being awesome. Quawesome. Pretty close. Now the fee can actually be paid in a variety of tokens as well, depending on what you have in your wallet. You can see BitUSD possible as a fee here as well. This is through something called a fee pool, which some tokens have, and I'm not going to get into the details of how fee pools work. It's simple enough to just pay your fees in BTS if you have them, or in whatever token you're sending if the fee pool has enough funds available in it. But let's just go ahead and leave this on BTS right now. This is just one cent transaction fee approximately, so it's going to be very inexpensive. Then go ahead and click send. You're then prompted for the wallet password that you used when you created the account. I have that on my clipboard, so I'll just paste that here. Unlock the wallet. From Kronos to Johnny Bitcoin. Thanks for being awesome. Just read through this one more time. Make sure you're sending the amount you want to send. 100 BTS. Looks good, so let's confirm. Broadcasting. Waiting for confirmation. Bam! The transaction has been confirmed on the network. As you can see, it's quick and easy to send money on the BitShares blockchain. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.